When I was younger, I used to find that I had a very like big like um, emotional attachment to things, you know, and I think I still do as an adult. Um, but I, there was one situation where I had a balloon um, and I, I let it go. But that's when my mom turned to me and she told me that a little moon child will find it and just be so happy that I let my balloon go. I just, I just didn't want to risk stepping on a crack because honestly, who knew? Who knew what was going to happen? <laughs> My grandma knew that the monsters under her bed couldn't get to her if her feet were tucked in. I always found it a bit weird because it was this little fairy that would come and just, you know, essentially take a little, a little piece of you, a little tooth. I think it kind of helps us come to terms with the idea of growing and change and moving on and leaving stuff behind and then new exciting things, you know, are possibly there in the future for us. My friend Will was told that the stars in the night sky were people that had passed away and I think this kind of helped him cope with the whole idea of losing someone and kind of understand that at such a young age and you know the idea that people are always around us even when they're gone. I think it's it's sort of in our nature to grow and evolve like that's kind of what we're what we're meant to do as humans so I think a lot of these things we get to a point where we don't need them anymore but there's some things that we can choose to just hold on to just a little bit tighter.